Hello and welcome to my next video in which I'm reviewing my recent guitar lesson and in this lesson we're going to be looking at yet another way of playing the G chord and moving from the D to the G and also we're going to be looking at picking individual strings so I'm going to be right back with all of that in just a moment. Hi, you're watching Cypher and this is my six string journey. My channel that is documenting my journey learning to play this guitar, so my guitar lessons, the gear that I'm working with, everything to do with this journey. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing and thank you for following along. If you're not, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell for future videos. And it's uh, really grateful for everybody that is supporting me by doing that. So this video is effectively a review of my Lesson 17, which was undertaken on the 18th of March 2020. We're on day 246 and roughly 63 hours of practice undertaken. Now this lesson was quite unusual because for medical reasons with the coronavirus going around, um, the country isn't actually in lockdown yet, but I'm isolating at the moment and so is my music teacher. So we did have a talk about this and we decided to do a Skype lesson and that worked really, really well. Um, I could see Michael, he could see me, he was showing what we're going to be working on, he could see how I was playing and I was really quite pleased with the way that that had gone and we're going to probably continue to do this um, for the next couple of lessons depending on how things go. So if you're in the same position, you know, consider doing online video sessions with your guitar teacher and like I am, try and keep the momentum going. If you're not, then stay safe and for all of us, you know, just try and stay indoors as much as we can. So the lesson was fairly straightforward. We started off by simply reviewing the scales that I've been doing. So I ran through the pentatonic scale and, and the other small scale. That was all fine. We reviewed my chord changes from my D to my G, which were okay, and the new way of playing the C chord. Again, that was all okay. And then we went through strumming. So Michael picked a couple of beats to miss, and I went through that, and it was pretty good. I'm not gonna go through all that again on the video. That was all pretty hunky-dory. So we started to look at the next step. Now, the next step is to learn a new song, which is Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. The idea is to continue to work on the dexterity of my hands, but this time rather than just as I have been working on either strumming or chords, now we're going to be doing two things at the same time. So this is quite a big step up from where I've been before. And we're going to be looking at a new transition from the D chord to the G chord. And it's another finger, and this is a three finger G chord that we're going to be playing. Whilst at the same time, we're going to be picking individual strings of the G chord. So rather than just strumming them, we're now going to be picking individuals, which is quite a nice little technique, and I'm, in, I'm enjoying that one. So as usual, I will make the um, music score and the tabs available via the download page for this particular lesson. Um, but I'll take you through what we're doing very, very quickly now. So ignoring my fretting hand for the moment, the song consists of 12 notes per bar and we start off on the fourth string, third, second, first, second, third, and we basically play that twice. before we come up to the sixth string and then play the third, second, first, second, third. And again, we play that twice in the bar. So that whole sequence is. So that bit, I can handle really easily. Um, very, very straightforward. And because of the way that Michael has been teaching me with the individual picking, I've found that to be very, very straightforward. Where it gets more complicated 
is we need to start to introduce the fretting hand and playing the G chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our D chord. So nice and clean straight away, which is good. And then we play four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Nice and easy. But on the second time when we're coming up, we need to start moving our fingers for the G chord. So we'll go four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. And as we play the one, we then bring our finger over to the, to the um, sixth string. We then play two, three, making sure that we're not muting it. I tend to move my ring finger over, so we need to make sure that that stays in the same place all of the time. And then when we play the low E string, the sixth string, we can lift our first finger off and put our little finger down to finish the full G chord. And then we'll go three, two, one, two, three, six, three, two, one, two, three. And as soon as we press, we play that third string, we need to then switch to the D chord so that we are playing four. So as we are playing that four string, that's when we need to be making the D chord so that we can immediately play that and then move. But we need to make sure you've got your little finger down and your first finger off before you go down. So this is the bit that I keep getting wrong and I really, really, really need to practice. So let's just take you through that one more time. So you get your D chord. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one. And then as you go one, bring your middle finger over. Lift off on your ring finger. And then you play the sixth string. Put your little finger down. Three, two, one two, three, and as you finish that chord, then you're switching back to the D to repeat that whole sequence. And as you get to that last chord, you need to be bringing your finger over for the sixth string, and then lifting off and putting your little finger down So I'm struggling with moving my fingers at the right time at the moment. So what I did first of all after the lesson is to put the pick down. I wasn't strumming or picking the strings and I would literally set my fingers up for the D. Then I would move my middle finger across and then lift up my first finger and put my little finger down and then switch back. And then again just to get a feel for how my fingers should be. And as you can see, I'm still occasionally picking up my first finger. I need to, to keep that in place. And then back and across and back. All the time you keep your ring finger in the same position. So that can become your anchor finger, if you will, as you're moving. Here. So this is a really nice tune for this particular exercise. So lifting my finger up again there, so just bring them back. Move your finger across, off, on, and then everything off and back. Middle finger, first, little, everything off and back. And I just am practicing this quite a lot, just quietly getting a feel for how my fingers should be moving. Difficult to do it while I'm talking. And if you, if you get it wrong and your fingers aren't working in the pattern they should be, then just reset your fingers 
put them back on again and then just work through that again and then back across off down and back oop, across so this is something that I'm going to be working on a lot as we go forwards. Once I get a feel for how my fingers should be moving up on the fretting board, then I will then start to introduce the picking as well. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm immediately struggling with that. need to do a lot of work on that so basically everybody hurts is what we're going to be working on like I said you can download the um, music score and the tabs from the download page so just look in the description and I'm basically going to be working quite a lot over the next few practice sessions on moving my fingers at the same time that I'm picking so wish me luck and I'll see you on the next video coming very soon I hope take care Bye-bye.